favorite thing to do at the Watson House is um, draw on a chalkboard because when I grow up, I really want to be a artist. Kids who go to quality after school programs do better in school. Um, they have better grades. They have better attendance in school and graduate high school and go on to interesting uh, experiences in college and career. When we think about making an investment in professional development, I believe that we should start with our after school and youth development leaders. I always say it's important to get the oxygen mask on them first. Building relationships with kids, to me, is the biggest deal. Most of them are making a commitment, a long-standing career commitment to the field and definitely make it a good investment. In recent research we've conducted on professional development interventions, we were able to see that staff who participated in professional development experience in those programs, we found student step increase of over 15%. Can you remember the time before we had after school care? Can you remember the time when child care was just babysitting? The research and training programs that the National Institute on Out of School Time have done have helped establish quality standards and training protocols for people who work with children and youth in out of school time. Uh, the field of after school and out of school time is now in the era of accountability. And because of that, the bar for quality and for reaching positive outcomes for children is very high. And yet, this is the big yet. We haven't caught up with training our practitioners who work with young people every day. We're expecting a lot from them. But far too often, they don't have the education and the training and the supports that they need in order to achieve these very important results. NIOS has been a sincere thought leader in the field for a number of years. Uh, NIOS has raised the issues uh, in a very eloquent way, an articulate way, around professional development, about workforce development. Uh, NIOS has been tremendous in uh, raising the voice around quality, uh, not just about quality programming, but the quality professional. Um, NIOS has been a leader in the field in really thinking about what is the evidence how do we really support the argument with the evidence? And if the evidence is not there, uh, bringing or either illuminating this uh, as an issue or actually commission or being commissioned to actually bring forward that evidence. It's just really rewarding to see kids grow up and you know, rely on you as like, I'm not trying to, I don't know how else to say, but like rely on you as family. School time professionals are really essential to this expanded learning time movement. I think they have, they bring a unique perspective into the work, this broad youth development perspective. They know that one of the most valuable things that they bring to the work are carefully constructed relationships with children and youth where they can really understand where what a child is thinking, what they love to do, and match them up with great experiences that are gonna advance their development. Raising up kids and filling in certain voids um, came along with getting to know kids' thought processes and helping to make mental obstacles in their minds smaller. After school we have a lot of flexibility with curriculum design and we can teach the children of the program anything that we feel is beneficial to their specific needs. And we're, we're a bridge from when they get out of school to when they're picked up by their parents. I feel the importance of after school time and expanded learning opportunities is uh, that it's, it's very relevant today. Um, I think as we th look at what's happening at the national landscape or even the global landscape around education, learning, development, and growth, 
um, expanded learning and after school are in a great position to really bridge what's happening in the in-school learning with the other kinds of developmental um, needs that we see. Recently we've been looking at professional development interventions that might contribute to giving young people more physical activity time as part of their out of school or after school time. And one of the things we found is that changing staff behavior is a real catalyst to then be, being able to change youth behavior in programs. The Wealthy Centers for Women is one of the largest and oldest women and gender focused research and action institutes in the nation and in fact in the world. And NIOS, the National Institute on Out of School Time, has been a part of us for nearly all of that time. They've done an incredible job of making the issue of out of school time, which includes after school time as well as other kinds of out of school programs, part of the national agenda that links children, their families, and schools together for optimizing child and youth development. Youth workers love what they do. They love being able to be in relationship with young people in a genuine way. That's what we do. So there's some interesting combination of raising the bar and expecting really strong leaders who work with young people but don't lose the heart.